Good morning and a very warm welcome to Kegworth Baptist Chirps. Thank you for joining us this morning. If you're a regular member of our online congregation, welcome back. And if you're new to Kegworth Baptist Church, thank you so much for joining us. You are very welcome. This morning, I'm going to be speaking to you on the verses of Samuel and listening to God. But let's start this morning's worship by singing the song, Knowing You, Jesus, All I Once Held Dear.
So today, I want to talk to you about listening to the voice of God. This is based on 1 Samuel 15. I can't take all the credit for this message this morning. My good friend Awat had a lot of this message come to him when he was praying and reading the Bible recently, but he didn't feel that he wanted to record it all. So I hope that I can do justice to Awat's message, but more importantly, the message that God has for us today. God is a father. He wants us to seek him, to spend time with him, to listen to him and to learn from him. We are his children and he wants us to always be obedient and pleasing to him, our father. Parents raise their children by teaching them good from evil, right from wrong and the correct way to behave and often have to discipline them if they don't behave in the way that they're supposed to. We often are guided by our parents until we are at an age where we're mature enough to make our own decisions and discern good from evil by ourselves. Likewise, our spiritual father expects to make a relationship with us. Like a father with his children, he wants us to listen and grow in his love and mercy and in the knowledge of him that until we reach the likeness of his son, Jesus Christ. This is also mentioned in Romans 8 and Ephesians 4. We can see many people in the Bible who go on their own way, who don't listen to God and often cause destruction and havoc in their own lives. One of them is Saul in the book of Samuel. Saul was the first man to be anointed as king of Israel. But though God made him the king, we see that he was disobedient to God's commands and let those people and properties live that God had already judged to death. And Samuel, his prophet, was rebuking him for disobeying God. In 1 Samuel 15, we hear him say, does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as much as obeying the voice of the Lord? To obey is better than to sacrifice, and to heed is better than the fat of rams. In the sight of Saul and men, Saul thought he was doing what was right for God, because sacrifices were pleasing to God. And even though he thought it was the right thing, it seems that for God, sometimes in his eyes, that's not right for him. Saul was not attentive to God's words. If he perceived God's voice, then he would have known with his whole heart that he was following the voice of God. And it's so much better to listen and to serve than to make sacrifices. God is always pleased by those who listen to his word and apply it. And if you're able to listen to God's word, you're able to practice flawlessly and experience God's love for you in his life. This is also demonstrated in James 1.22 and Joshua 10.8. God wants us to listen to his word and save those words in his heart before we serve him. That word or voice from God will enable us to grasp what God truly wants from us. In Hebrews 4, it tells us that God's word is like a two-edged sword. It will give us power and strength to discern thoughts of the flesh and movements of the spirit and will enable us to serve God perfectly. In Luke 10, we hear about Mary and Martha. Martha is so busy serving Jesus and the disciples that she gets distracted by the work that she's doing. Mary, on the other hand, sits at the feet of Jesus and listens to his every word. When Martha asks the Lord to instruct Mary to help her, Jesus tells Martha that Mary has made the right decision to sit and to listen. And that's what she should have done. God doesn't want us to be so occupied with service that we don't first listen to what he wants for us. If we do hear the word of God, then that's what he wants. But if we don't hear the right word from God, 
it can ruin many things in our life and we can make the wrong choices. That's why David, who was a man of God, said, I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Listening to God is so important. How can we discern what God's will is for us if we don't first listen to what he says? As a child listens to a parent for guidance, as children of God, we need to stop and listen. Our Father knows what's best for us and he wants us to fulfil his purposes for him. Recently, I had some opportunities presented to me and I didn't understand what God wanted from me. And perhaps I maybe still don't. But I could have thought that God wanted something and chosen one direction and actually it would have been the wrong thing for me. But I need to stop and listen to God and pray that he will give me the right direction. If we do what we think God wants us to do, this may not be true. If we don't listen, how can we fulfill God's will for us? Take time to listen to God. He reveals himself through the word. He wants us to rejoice in his word and follow his plans for us. My favorite verse is Jeremiah 29. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Do not be consumed with service or thinking what we want to hear from God or what we think God wants for us. We need to listen, to take time, to hear the voice of God. If we listen, he will show us the way and we can fulfill our purposes for him. Amen. Let's just pray together. Lord, help us to listen to you. You are there with us all the time, teaching us, guiding us. Help us not to be too quick to get involved in things that we think you want us to do, rather than listening to the plans that you have for us. We know that you are always there and that you're always guiding us in the right way. And please help us and forgive us, Lord, when at times we go our own way and that's not what you want for us. But also help us to be the people you want us to be, to serve you in the way you want us to serve and help us to spread your love to others. And let us finish with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you.
Till all our striving cease Take from our souls the strain and stress And let our ordered lives confess Thank you for joining us this morning. If anybody needs any prayer or wants to talk to anybody about the message this morning, please do contact us or pop into church on Friday mornings or on Sunday mornings and have a chat with us. We are always here and we're happy to help you in any way that we can. Don't forget that we have our Oasis Coffee Morning Friday mornings 10 till 12 in the hall Everybody is welcome. Come and join us for a cup of tea and a chat. We also have warm welcome space separate to the service 10 a.m. till 12 p.m. on Sundays and obviously worship in the church 10.30 a.m. every Sunday morning. And let us finish by blessing one another with the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen.